Oh, educators are, are getting a lot of support from both teachers and parents. I want to bring in two news reporter Patricia Santos. She's been getting a reaction from them, Patty. And you know, I talked to those parents, and they tell me they believe that the state has enough funding to properly support public education, but they say other projects are taking a priority. That's why thousands of them representing schools across Green Country circled around the state capitol today. Now, some parents taking the day off from work to stand alongside the teachers in their communities. Others telling me stories about how families are now being asked to chip in for school supplies that should be funded through state tax dollars. Students say they've also noticed the need and want to be a part of the solution. It's just kind of cool to see all the teachers support um, the stance of, like, we need a, the government needs to pay attention to everyone. We need more money for the technology to teach our uh, kids at school, and we need more money for school supplies so kids can uh, do well. <laughs> Now at play here is funding for schools, which would uh, hopefully increase teacher pay, but also they want changes to take play, to take the focus off of the standardized statewide testing. Now at the end of this rally, many of those parents, teachers, and students walked inside the Capitol here to tell lawmakers how they want them to vote on some upcoming legislation. Yeah, so, so interesting because you see that the kids seem to really get it, that they think they need more funds. All right, Patty, thanks.